So yeah, since I was out at work, um, I was not able to see the Mother Direct live. But uh, I think, what was, what was it for me, 3 p.m. Central or whatever? It was either 3 or 4, I forgot. But uh, yeah, there's about an hour here of just new Mother-like indie RPGs that I... Uh, I reacted to last year and enjoyed immensely. So I am looking forward to seeing what the peoples of the Earthbound community slash people that are sort of similar and into it uh, are currently making. So yeah, we'll be reacting to this before hopping into God of War. Hopefully the volume will be good. It's gonna be a nightmare of why I'm balancing. That's probably. <laughs> That's probably. Yeah, that seems fine. Hello, Antone Dagosa. I'm Cody Nokolo, and welcome to Mother Direct 2023, delivering the latest news on Mother or Earthbound fan projects and Mother-like indie games directly to you. We just hit the 34th anniversary of the Mother series in Japan. So Still not Mother 3. Than now to see how much these games have influenced our art. Despite the name, this Direct isn't just about Mother. This is about the artists you're about to see, and how they're continuing the fun of the Mother series. Satoru Iwata once said to Shigesato Itoi about games that, If you start doing the easy stuff, then you disengage yourself with the pursuit of true entertainment. I think that oh. means there's more to succeeding Mother than doing the easy stuff. It's about matching that fun in different ways, from videos and music to fan games and indie games. You'll see it all here. So, I think the time has come. Let's start pulling the needles. I was kind of spoiled on one thing because of Twitter. From the beginning. Yeah, it was probably show being shown off here. Gabby, and I am the lead developer of the Earthbound Beginnings Remake ROM hack. As this hack is, its goals are to look like a legitimate mother game, and all the decisions made through its development are intended to mimic what the actual developers of Mother 2 would have done. This project has been started over from scratch, which means most of what you'll see isn't final. The main party members have many more weapons to choose from, some that are references to things in the real world, while others are puns. Most maps have been reduced in size to remove unnecessary space, but That's you do thing. get rewarded from exploring. It's a very good expect, thing. <laughs> random encounters aren't a thing here, so you don't have to worry about that. Also you can also thing. run away from enemies by holding the Y button, but if you rely on this too much, the game will punish you for being underleveled. This hack also includes a couple original songs so you won't get tired of being friends. Ooh. Many enemies make a return from Earthbound, but I'm not going to spoil you. See you soon. Okay, I wasn't the Mother 1 content, but ooh, oh yeah, I saw this dude, he made an update. He was like thanking to be a part of this. We're giving a thanks for being a part of this. I'm so tired from work and food coma, so. Give, give me a bit of a bit of a break. So yeah, this trailer was also posted to Twitter, but I chose not to see it because I was going to assume like, yeah, it'll just be here. So rip in pieces bit rate. <laughs> Dang. You never did the intro on 3D. You got like <laughs> the sharks and stuff over there. Very snazzy. 
Oh, fully functional demo. Hey, I look forward to exploring that. Melodies taken and remastered. Okay. It's just the OST. Oh. How captivating. Ooh. Sounds good. <laughs> huh. Not too sure about the... AI power a bit of the instrumentals, or to, you know, but uh, seems cool. That's a red, Very bright red. Please. Lucas encountered everyone. An animation? <laughs> so I gotta say, from like the sp sprite fights. Oh gosh, yeah, speaking of which, <laughs> I've gone a pretty far away since, uh, the original Super Mario Bros. Z spray light. One of the best things to see mature on the internet. Yeah, I'm not sure what all about, but it looks cool, I guess. Is this like a sort of, sort of like Super Smash Flash thing? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, wasn't this a thing in... Film in the last year. I don't remember too much about it. <laughs> Return, rebound, and refresh your browser. Yeah. It's a new hack. Oh. Rumber. Rumber. Much aesthetic. Much 90s. I think I love the doom in capital letters. Is that the friend Teletubby son? Iceberg dead ahead, throw your slippers at him. 
There's a release date on that. Maybe it's already out. That seems interesting. Long before mankind, Monk. there lived a mysterious creature that stood tall above the seas. It crackles like thunder. It's cold to the touch, and it's tied to a modern hey, phenomenon known as the iceberg chart. Oh gosh. Why, hello! Enjoying the Mother Direct so far? Some of you lot may know me already, but in case you don't, my name is Remy Remsleep, and back in December, I, I uploaded this a man, one bitch. hour and 29 minute long iceberg video all about my favorite game in the Mother series, Earthbound Beginnings. It's jam-packed with all kinds of interesting trivia about the game. Some Seems like good background know, noise for what I'm editing. <laughs> you. Did you know that Mother 1 is the most remaked game in the trilogy? Or that a creepy yeah, mannequin why. from Nintendo exists and somehow went missing for a while? Ah, now there's that twinkle in your eye. There's certainly Swing on my floor, hoping to get a kink on my side. Hopefully, that sorts itself out. I've also been working closely with Nyasu Nekoben on an audiobook series for the Mother novel, with Chapter One already being available for your listening pleasure or displeasure, if you like me. That's Remy underscore Rem underscore Sleep. Now on with the direct. Hope so too. You can call all of them Pollyanna. Animation color. Oh. Some of these actually feel a bit, a little bit familiar. Might have seen these like back in the day. <laughs> Maybe. Thirty-six anniversary. I thought it was thirty-four. <laughs> uh, I just do. Are they doing this like ahead of schedule, or do I just re misremember the anniversary year? Find your roots. Is this another ROM hack, or is this totally original thing? Here's be a ROM hack. Oh, I add two on a counter then. bit of an edge I'm tasting here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the red dialog box just kind of gave it away. Oh, animated sprites, hey! I wonder how much I had to modify <laughs> the free and earthbound uh, engine to do this. Or it could be like just Unity and it just looks very much like our phone. Oh. Neat. Return to Deep Darkness. Oh, yeah, I, I saw a couple videos from this dude. At least I already saw the first one. <laughs> The dark aspects of might have just been games, but there was an episode on our found our mother. Oh wait, isn't this about Nintendo's grandparents? Yeah, it is. Welcome to Dark Aspects of Mother, an ongoing video series inspired by the musings of Shikasato Itoi, digging into the plethora of family-friendly Nintendo games to unearth any darker themes that may be hiding beneath the surface. So far, I've covered the trilogy, the cancelled N64 game, Yeah, I saw the first one. I think I might have saw the 64 one. It's pretty good videos. Plus the haunting book series that helped inspire some of Mother 3. 
Today, I've uploaded an episode about Invasion from the Unknown, the freshly fan-translated gamebook based on the very first mother that somehow manages to emulate the feeling of playing the video game, with some challenges and benefits of its own, like the hilariously brutal Game Overs. There will also be a brief how-to segment at the beginning explaining the seemingly daunting rules if you want to try it out for yourself and don't want me spoiling the adventure. This video will be available immediately following the Direct, so head on over to youtube.com slash atthinggaming to check it out. Hope to see you there. <laughs> Explore Mother like never before? It happened in the quiet town of Podunk. An ages-old family mystery. What happened with Great Grandpa? Why won't you talk about it? Begets an unprecedented paranormal. It's like a ah. an audiobook of crow smoking a cigarette. Mind control. No, aud okay, audio drama of Mother today. One. <laughs> Zombies. I could have gotten out of here on my own. You were hiding in a coffin. It was a good disguise. Extraterrestrial. You've seen them too? I've been observing them for days. I beat up aliens with my baseball bat. It's been a lot of love for Mother One. Let that little light of mine shine, Mama. And it melted the darkness away. And that's just the beginning. Mother She Wrote is a podcast journey through the Mother Trilogy. Each episode opens with an immersive audio drama segment that takes you beyond the controller and into the adventure. Then we unpack the lore, social commentary, and pop culture influences that make this series so special. If you're like me, you've got friends you've always wanted to get into these games, but it's been a challenge. That's why we made this show. Now everyone can experience these incredible stories. And now you have the challenge of getting people to listen to an audio uh, podcast. There's episodes out now, and our extended Earthbound Beginnings mid-season special debuts August 7th, bringing Anna into the fold. Subscribe to Mother She Wrote on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or any podcast player, and head to MotherSheWrote.Earth for more info. It might as well be super deluxe. Oh yeah, I already have this set up for whenever I replay Earthbound. Here, it'll, it'll be this. <laughs> trying to show for the you third time. In store for the next version. Three big highlights I want to show off are animated battle sprites, difficulty selections, and optional areas. Let's start off with sprites. Look at that animated. Wow. I wonder how much memory this takes up. <laughs> all the enemies in Mother 2 Deluxe are animated. Unfortunately, really large sprites just can't be animated because they're too strong for the hardware. That strong. may change in the future, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Difficulty selections. Original mm -hmm. mode gives all the enemies their standard vanilla earthbound moveset, while casual is a toned down version of what you've seen. Okay, good accessibility. Deluxe. deluxe is what you know, and insane is, well, you're gonna be in pain. But Ooh. if you play on deluxe or insane, you get optional areas. The post game apparently. familiar to you? Oh. There are five optional dungeons in total so far with brand new items, brand new enemies, and bosses. Many but not all of these optional areas are directly inspired by the Mother 2 novel from Sayori Kumi. There's a grand total of eight huh. optional bosses including three hidden ones. Not very familiar with the novel. <laughs> so. equipable goodies. Hey, thanks for watching this sneak peek. The hack will be done when it's done. Until then, come hang out at our Discord. I'm Messianic and thanks for watching. 16 hit combos got nothing on this. Oh no. Yeah, that's my reaction right now. <laughs> There's no change. There's no change in my reaction. It's kind of just like, I I'm tired, boss. I'm tired of seeing. <laughs> Boy in red cap, pressing arrow keys. Ugh. Oh, of course they forget to no, have a Megalo Strikes Back. <laughs> Gotta assume what that is just because of the fact they're in a window. Oh, wait, they could've... Oh... It's cool, but it kind of sucks. I don't like. <laughs> Not really into this.
Hope you've been having fun so far. Did you know it's been almost 15 years since the first Mother 3 fan translation patch oh, was I released? Feel old. <laughs> Without it, I'm not sure many of the projects you're seeing today, including this Direct, would exist. Yeah. If you ever need any of the games translated, you can patch any copy of them into your language on our website at motherforever.net slash patch. To all the translation patch creators for Mother 3 since then, the community made you this collage of characters from the game. Thank you to everyone who contributed to this collage, and let's all give a special thanks to fan translation patch creators for all they've done. I wonder how many indie games were affected by Mother 3 because of those translations. I guess the quality was most likely inspired. This is actually where things get a bit more interesting. Game ever. See a lot more creativity in this section usually. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. You might know me as the developer of the sure, very loud. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a Shenanigans. I like the music. There, okay, there, there's a lot in these battle sequences. Huh. Okay, they really like that green screen explosion. <laughs> okay. That was cool. Peculiar, funny, and heartrending. Oh, uh, yeah, this was shown last year, I think. Very much in between of Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. <laughs> With its own thing. The shark gang is actually just a shark gang. And you'll be done when it's done. Keep your eyes on the prize. RPG Maker. Very Earth. <laughs> uh, friend, uh, Halloween hack. Oh.
I like to sort of like, uh... Does I have a name? Like sort of like, uh... uh art tag? Name name tag art style? <laughs> that they have on the, uh, the battle screen for their names. to seeing this mature because this is uh at least in the battle screen you can tell they had, had a lot more a bit more of an effort on that huh. demo coming soon <laughs> I have a big appreciation for people to animate the fast running you know, what like the little wheel leg wheel or whatever it's called <laughs> Does that have a name? Plunge down know. to the depths. Text is a little hard to read. <laughs> Oh, of course, of course, if we do the dump gift. <laughs> First there were Starmen, and now there's Stickmen. RPG Maker. Morgus board. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, honestly, not very into this one <laughs> because of the very Baby's first for a PGR style, this has. I mean, I get it, the faces are kind of like, oh yeah, the faces are pretty much like Earthbound, but like. Okay, kudos to this person for making the RPG. <laughs> making something. So that's a lot further than I. It's, it's like light years further than. What I haven't done for what I want to make. <laughs> Meet this chosen fur. I mean, four. Okay, for game number two. It's like 36 degrees here. Dude. That's Fahrenheit, it'd be awesome. Celsius. Dude. Just like Earthbound X Warrior Wear. Just anything. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Warrior Wear. I was about to say, yeah, Warrior Wear X is a little random, but Warrior Wear is just kind of a little random. <laughs> uh, 
a little bit of claymation for like a second. Light a rabbit when it's in sprite form, kind of, or no, at the rabbit, the, the horse. Is it a horse? Donkey? Uh, it's like it was truly <laughs> in sprite form. Just department stores. Oh. oh, great. Open world. So why is like a microphone ghost? Oh. Uh. Uh. Interesting fight screen. <laughs> I'm not very sure. What, 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 I felt a bit confused looking at the fight screen. Can love conquer the curse? Massive space be between the first and second sentence. Ooh. Or was it intent? It's probably the word for it. Oh. It's just like me. Always gotta appreciate animated sprites and fight scenes. Oh, bird, bird. <laughs> cult, a bird cult. At least you could say about every every indie game so far shown, like their very biggest strength is a very, a very diverse and interesting uh, enemy cast. It's been great. Great to see what people Symbiotic will think of the fight. Between living and dead. Uh, RPG maker. Yeah, <laughs> I like how easy you could tell when it's RPG maker, because because first of all, it's, it's 4x3. And the text. The text boxes as well. Sort of movement. Lisa like So what are they exactly like a gelatinous blob? Oh huh. Gelatinous meat blob
Okay. Here's one from the heart. Potion. Do I even have to guess? Should I? Very pink. So random cupcake. So oh, wholesome. Searching for the spirit of the past. Bean. Bean. Oh. If Earthbound, if Earthbound like was on the Game Boy Color. See more tales from the tales. This was shown last year, so hopefully it's actually got better because it honestly looked very rough last time. I mean, I guess that's just just the art style that they have. Oh yeah, for, uh, there's a counter for a game or three. I'll move the camera. Oh. oh, I definitely upgrade over <laughs> last year's showing. Right there on the switch. <laughs> oh, wait, they actually have, they have a publisher this time. Lots of games uh, <laughs> before were like, ah, yes, RPG Maker, and just, that was just like, ah, yes, Life Unity. Mystery. Yes. Sometimes it feels like a dream when it's just too strange to be real. Some other times it feels like a nightmare when it's just too scary to accept. Spooky. You twist and turn, scream and shout, trying to wake up. But still, life is an adventure, a story, drawn with the places you visit, and colored by the people you meet, those who challenge you, the ones who make you smile, the ones who will join you, and those with whom you'll part ways. Life 
life is a mystery. A mystery being dreamed away. Oh. I like that one. <laughs> Let's welcome in a special guest. Got no money? No yeah. problem. Oh. Dewey Prospect, Cody in Law, and I'm ready to hear your story. Cynical. It's the Claustro's Connection. I'm your host, Tesla. Cynical Morrow, too. I'm excited to bring you tonight's special guest, Django. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful to see such a dedicated audience. Yes, now Django, you are one of the mother's most important advisors, a close comrade, and a publicity agent. Tell us, how did you land a gig like that? Oh, it's simple. I make her laugh. <laughs> now, not to bring down the mood, but we've heard the latest work you've been doing for her is taking care of a particular group. Uh, what was their name? Oh, the Astro Guard. Ooh, why don't you tell us a bit about them? <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> I jest. In all seriousness, folks, those meddling malfeasance are a band of terrorists whose only goal is to, oh, it pains me to even say, chaos, destruction. They travel from planet to planet, hoodwinking the locals, pillaging your Oh, it's mountain, this game. And disturb the peace with their inelegant, rampaging rambunctiousness. And you've gone face to face with these terrifying figures? I have. You have? I'm more than just a beautiful face. I'm a force to be reckoned with. I've survived their unimpressive and very tackily named special moves and team tech. These Astral Guard characters sound terrifying. Yeah, but they have this uh, interactive experience, as they call it, uh, table talk. Have you heard of it? It gives a rare glimpse into what's behind their terrorist bluster. Give it a look. Might even catch a glimpse of me certain day. Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell us about their last known whereabouts? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. I'm sure their captain is quite occupied at the moment. You don't have to do this, Crick. Shut up, runt. I'll kill you. All right, before we move on, oh. is there any advice you want to give to the audience? Well, it looks better than the last advice? times have been shown. <laughs> no, Astral Guard. I know you're watching. I hope you're ready for the show of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Live to work and work to live. Oh yeah, I saw Vinny play this. Yeah, this is a pretty good game. Chicken. Also RPG maker, but this this one's pretty special. Count this as an Earthbound like? It's just it's an RPG, <laughs> RPG Maker game. I wonder if there's like a update or something for this to be shown here. It's just sort of just a spotlight. Like, oh yeah, this game is, exists. It's been around for a while. Yeah, this, this had a lot of personality. So I've been to play it. I really like the title cards of like, in case of whatever X happens, and then <laughs> it'll be like one of those VHS tapes of uh, safety. Yeah, this part was weird. Of course, they also have back rooms. Of course. Turns. Is it like a deluxe version of it? I'm not very sure. <laughs> Let's meet in a dream. Welcome to Palm Mall. We're proud to welcome you. So to aesthetic. Your home away from home. Grab some friends and head down to Waterson, where you can shop to it's like a CJ graphics. Oh. Visit the very bouncy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure CJ Graphics was uh, like light, light blue, purple, and white. Our courteous staff is here to serve you at all times. After all, only the best for our guests. 
so much variety, so much style. What are you waiting for? We can't wait for you to come visit us. Palm Mall, a place to relax, a place to explore, a place to dream. Game pass. Oh. What is a gnomon? I can I know. Vinny also showed this, or, or this was shown last year. I don't think the battle screen was shown last year. Yeah, the uh, sort of like colored pencil. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, rock. Yeah, I like I the art style. I like the hand drawn colored pencil. Direct, check out all of these games style. through the links in the description or our website, and. Find Motherlike Indies in a new Steam event, the Motherlike RPG Bash. Many of the games you saw today and more can be found there for you to wishlist and oh. try their demos. Hey. You can join our Discord. Why is Y2K on it? And Motherlike <laughs> and more too. Check it all out at the end through the links in the description. And another thing before we move on, we have a new way you can Yuck. celebrate this direct and help a good cause. Seven played it, Thanks haven't to for production a long time. company Job Job, and with a hint of lemon, artists for the indie game Oddity, you can buy Mother Direct shirts, postcards, and stickers, with huh. all profits going to support Child's Play charity. Okay. Pre-orders for these will be open until the end of August, starting right after the direct. So get something to remember this time and help kids that need it. No need to rush for these, though. They aren't limited. So stick That's around good. here until the end. I wonder if it'll get updated as more games get added onto it. Into the last announcements. Let's square this one away. Oh yeah, the other her phone. Back here, uh... Yeah, to sort of make... <laughs> I mean, it's the second one we've seen. The first one was a 3D one. Which I'm so excited about the fact that it will, there will be a 3D demo, actually. Yeah, last time this was uh, shown, they only had, like, on it stuff, so... Is exciting. Not a big fan of the sound effects in the battle screen or the like the no, the menu buttons. <laughs> oh, is it also like uncensored? Because they had the they had the H on them. It's a good face. Yeah, the music. I wonder if they'll have to reformat the music somehow to make the, the beats work a bit easier, or at all. <laughs> Every project you've seen so far was impacted not just by the work of Shigesatu Itoi, but by the work of another one of his friends I quoted to start this direct, Satoru Iwata. Have you ever thought about how much the games industry was affected by his work? The Impact of Iwata is a new book exploring that, and it even features a section about Earthbound. You can pre-order a copy now to help fund the book while it's being made. Anyways, huh. what could be inside? Oh yeah, this is the part that was spoiled by, <laughs> by the, the, the free and Twitter account. Oh, the developers. So I was wondering when it was going to pop up. If it is. That. I'm assuming it is. Yeah, like I said, a lot of Mother 1 love. 
a tremendous amount of it. Wow. Real. I guess it is sort of a testament that I was able to recognize where uh, Nintendo was running earlier. Let's change some new things here. spray just in case you know yeah mother encore oh there's a demo yes mm. you'll finally be able to try mother encore after the show and there's something I mean, that was else like hours ago try. As of today, you can actually find the original leaked copy of Earthbound Beginnings, what? also known as the TK69 cartridge, on the Internet Archive. Be sure to check out oh. all of the projects you saw here after the direct. I would recommend that though, because holy crap, uh, playing Mother One as is, and uh, find the that's store page rough. For this year's Mother Direct merchandise on JobJobLLC.com, so you can get something to remember this year and support Child's Play charity. I hope you could see how the fun of Mother continues on because of the limitless potential of its fans. Thank you for watching. You might have thought Encore was it, but there's still. One more thing. Oh, one more, one more, one more? Auto one more. When Dang it, if only. Talk about Earthbound, you Let know, me have one. Five dollars. I'll have two. Five dollars. People were just starting to be able to communicate about these things over the internet. Earthbound. The fans form a true friend group. And once you have something that doesn't come out, gets canceled, some things just take on a life of their own. Greetings, fellow Earthbounders. We just decided to make a petition. Sorry, I'm an American. I'm drawn into by deals like freedom. <laughs> it just blew my mind. <laughs> we love Earthbound. Five games of Earthbound. We want more. We want a sequel. We want more of Mother. Let's read some of these. Bring Earthbound out now before I unleash the evil hordes upon thee. Yeah! <laughs> what? Earthbound is an example of a company frustrated. I barely got my dashboard. Thanks, Switch. To the point of taking action. Picking apart Earthbound's programming. I don't pretend to know the legality of that. It just kind of spiraled out of control. And it's not even yours anymore. It's ours. None of us knew how long the site would last. <laughs> We're gonna sue! You. What would the fandom be if the game did come out? これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕の。これは僕
Uh, maybe wait on the... Honestly, <laughs> even with the demo out, I think I'll just wait for the entire game to come out. Might be for the best. Um... I need to get this at one point, that'd be useful. <laughs> um... Yeah, if anything besides that, uh, documentary, uh... piqued my interest. Oh my gosh. You know, Mount of Mother One Love. It deserves it. It's like the, the game that needs the most amount of help and fixings. Because uh, even though I enjoyed uh, playing the Nintendo Switch Online of Earthbound Beginnings, oh my gosh. It's, it is rough, very rough around the edges, but uh, it was still enjoyable. Oh, and me? Wow. Just be a watcher of you. <laughs> Alright. 